Are you ready for Zebe? And welcome once again to What's Your Style? The game show in which I ask and you answer. Contestant number one, all the way from Kalamazoo. Get it? Kalamazoo? Zebby Zoo? Kalamazoo? <laughs> oh boy. It's Zebby the Zebra. Now, Mr. Zebra, this is your situation. It's Halloween, your little pumpkin lantern has fresh batteries, and you're all ready for trick or treating. As excited as you are, you just can't get that green alien mask to stay put on your face. It just keeps sliding off. Down, 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 all the way down so that your eyes and your nose are showing. Your chest is covered with some silly green alien grin and all your friends can see is really you. You're frustrated, man. Frustrated as you can be. What do you do? Whoa, that's tough. Yep, I'd have to say that would frustrate me. But you know, Oscar, I'd be willing to embrace it. If I had tried over and over again to get that mask right, and it still wouldn't happen, I'd have to chalk it up to part of the Halloween festivities. The tricks on me kind of thing. <laughs> I'd take my lantern and my candy bag and set off into the night. Good answer. This boy's well adjusted. The question is posed to you, Lazy Lion. Same Halloween night, same mask, same lantern, different candy bag. What do you do? Well, I'm sorry, Oscar, but I just can't embrace a situation like that one. For me, it's simple. I turn off my pumpkin lantern, throw down my candy bag, bang my paws on the floor, and growl at the moon in anger. This is the worst Halloween I've ever had. Boy, oh boy, I'll growl and growl, and I'll scare all the trick-or-treaters away when they come to my door. <sighs> well, I guess I'll be put to bed early on Halloween night. Hi kids, hi Zebby. Hi. Today we're going to be talking about llamas. Llamas originated in Peru. They can weigh between 250 and 450 pounds. Wow. They live to be between 25 and 35 years old. Can I try feeding them? They have a baby once a year and a baby is called a cria. Once they have that baby, the baby's usually up and nursing from the mom within about an hour. Oh, how cute. The hair is called wool. Uh, these are great animals. They use them up in the mountainous areas to, as pack animals. They put backpacks on them, and they're also used for pulling carts. Out here on the farm, we just have them as pets, and as you can see, they make great pets too. Aww. Well, that's about all we have time for today. Thanks, kids. Thanks, Zebby. Thank you. We had fun. <laughs> Hit it. Hey, Oscar. Hey, how are you, Zebby? What did the frog order at the restaurant? Hmm, I don't know. A large croak and some fries. Oh, a croak. <laughs> a large croak and some fries. <laughs> The words of the day. Hi, kids. It's so great to see you again today. Well, let's get to the words of the day. The first word is find. And the second word is fill. 
why don't you find me some water so I can fill my glass? All right, I am getting kind of thirsty. Well, why don't we put on a music video and get some exercise? All right, roll them. Get up, gather round, come and take my hand. Danny, do you want to? Oh, you're in the doghouse. Yes. Oh, sorry. Me too. You want to talk? Sure, I'll tell you what happened. I got real angry. At who? At myself. Dad and I were out back burying bones and then trying to find them again. I kept burying mine and sniffing around the ground like crazy, you know, to try to find them again. But for some reason, I just couldn't do it. Couldn't find them? Right. Dad kept digging up all of his, but I couldn't find one of mine to dig up. Oh, I tried, and I couldn't do it. I tried again, and I still couldn't do it. I tried, and I tried, and I tried. And you couldn't do it. So I got angry. I was angry in my nose for not smelling right. I was angry in my brain for not remembering. Finally got angry at my dad for finding all of his. And when he asked if he could help me, I growled at him. Ooh. When I told Dad how angry I was, he told me that it was okay, and that I was frustrated. Dad said there was nothing to be angry about, that I just needed to take a break for a minute and come back and try again. So are you going back? Right now. When the going gets frustrating, the frustrated get going. <laughs> Fun. 
Hi kids, my name is Dr. Weinstein, but you can call me Dr. Lee. I'm a special dentist and I only treat kids. We have little kids, big kids, medium-sized kids, and this is my helper, Rachel, and we were talking to Lazy a little while ago. And Hi kids. We've just cleaned Rachel's teeth and we're now about to give her some vitamins to make her teeth super strong. And Lazy, are you paying attention? Yes. Okay. I saw Lazy looking at himself in the mirror a little while ago. He was checking himself out. I'm gonna take some grape fluoride. That stuff that makes your teeth really strong. You guys take your Yummy. vitamins every day? I don't, are you paying attention? Yeah. And I'm gonna put some in my little tray. And I don't think he's paying attention at all. And this is perfect, because this tastes delicious. We have stuff that makes your teeth super duper strong and That's it comes in a bunch of flavors. It comes in chocolate mint, marshmallows, strawberry, bubblegum, cherry, orange, creamsicle. And I'm gonna take these little trays and I'm gonna put it right into Rachel's mouth. And she's gonna bite down right on that little tray, bite down Rach. And I'm gonna take my straw, Mr. Thirsty, and he's gonna suck out some spit and it's gonna stay there for one minute. Open up really big, Rachel, thank you. Close your mouth, excellent. Now it's gonna sit there for one minute. At the end of the minute, we're gonna take that out, and that's gonna make her teeth super strong. You guys take your vitamins every day because vitamins make your body strong, right, Lazy? Look at that. Are you pumping, pumping bottles, huh? He's gonna have strong teeth and a strong body, and it's important to take care of both. Her muscle juice is sitting there for another 10 seconds, and then we're gonna take it out. And after that, we're gonna be all set, and her teeth will be set and strong, and she won't have to come back to the office for another six months. We wanna see you kids two times a year because if we can see you two times a year, we can make sure that you don't get any cavities. And there are a lot of things that we can do to prevent and protect your teeth. Fluoride is one of those things. Sealants or plastic coatings that we put on teeth are another. And that's all easy stuff. The object of going to the dentist when you're young is to make sure you don't have any problems when you're older. Okay, we're gonna take out this tray on Rachel. Perfect. Now close her mouth. Excellent. She's gonna give it a couple of kisses. Perfect. She's a bit of a slob, but that's okay. She's having some fun. <laughs> And we made her teeth super strong. Now we have to wipe her face because she can't go out looking like a slob in public. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna take her napkin off and she has strong, healthy teeth. She's gonna make sure that she eats good, strong foods every day like fruits and vegetables and stay away from candy and soda and cake and things that really aren't very good for your teeth. So we're gonna see Rachel in six months and if Lazy keeps up a good job with his teeth and Rachel keeps up a good job with her teeth, no one will ever have any cavities, and we'll make sure that everybody stays well. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. See you soon.
everybody, gather around. We're going to learn about pronunciation. Does everybody remember our two words of the day? Okay, let's pronounce the first one. Here we go. Fa, 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 fa. Fine. 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 That was great. Okay, now let's do the next word. Ready? Here we go. Fa, 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 fa. Fill. 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 That was great, everybody. in the evening when it's time to say good night. It's good to know the things to do and how to act in life. Manners are the guide we use to treat each other right. Manners! Hi, Lazy Lion. How are you? I got another tip for you. It's very important to chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> I agree. Table manners are real important. Everybody get up and do what I do wow. First I'm gonna show you how, then you'll do it too and I'm the lazy lion, wow. I'm telling you Exercise will always pull you through Do this And this I'm the lazy lion I'm telling you, exercise will always pull you through. Do this, and this, oh, do this, and this, oh, do this. try to get a ride home with anyone unless your parents have told you it's okay. Wow, that was a fantastic safety tip, Stomper. Let's say we have a letter and the letter is F. And then we add another and the other is I. And let's add another and the other is N. And still we have another and the other is D. What does it spell? Phil! What does it spell? Phil! What does it spell? Phil! What does it spell? Well, 
telling time, we're telling time Little hand, big hand, look at your clock And figure it out, we're telling time, we're telling time Little hand, big hand, look at your clock And figure it out, we're telling time Now if the little hand's on nine The big hand's on three It's quite simple It's 9.15 Look at your clock and figure it out, we're telling time And now, the adventures of Sock and the Turtle Hey Turtle Hey, I'm talking to you. What's the matter Turtle? You look a little frustrated You've been standing here all day Trying to cross the road. Didn't I tell you to go down the block? You know, there's a crossing guard down there. That's what she's for. Whenever someone needs to cross the street, the crossing guard, she holds the traffic. But wait a minute. That might not help you. She's only on an eight-hour shift. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you slow turtle! Stay tuned next time. For the adventures of Sock and the Turtle. Here we go. It's another beautiful day. All my friends are on the way. Gather round, there's plenty of fun to be found Come along down to Zephyr Zoo Come along, your friends are there with you Come along down to Zephyr Zoo Come and follow me Here we go, get ready to go Here we go to Zebby at P.O. Box 95, Bethpage, New York, 11714. Or check us out on the internet at www.zebbyzoo.com. Hey, guys. How was your day? Oh, we had a great day today at the zoo. Actually, we danced and we exercised and we learned all about math. And then we also had a couple of words for today. Find and fill. Those are great words. I've got a letter for you. Oh, great. Kids, we got a letter. Let's see if it's coming from you. Let's go read it. Nice to see you today, Terry. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Let's see what Terry brought us today. This letter is for Zebby, and it's from Nicholas and Christina. Dear Zebby, my sister and I really enjoy your show. We watch it all the time. My favorite part is when Denny the dog sings in the doghouse. My mom likes the fact that he teaches us what, what good values are all about. Keep up the good work. Love, Nicholas and Christina. I know, we feel sorry for Denny too, but he always seems to get the picture at the end. Oh well, keep your letters coming. We love to read them at the zoo. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Great!
great time? Yeah. Now I'm going to teach you the Sebi dance. You put your hands up, you put your hands down, and clap, clap, clap. Put your hands up and put your hands down. Clap, clap, clap. Come on now. Clap your hands, get ready for a jam. Gotta move your feet in any way you can. You gotta follow Sebi in each and every day. He's moving to the sound in his own special way. He's moving to the left, he's moving to the right. His hands are in the air and he wants you all to do it right. Everybody's talking about the dance. Don't miss your chance. Do the Sebi dance. Sebi, do the Sebi. Everybody and show them how to move your feet. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the dance. Don't miss your chance. Do the Sebi dance. Sebi, do the Sebi, do the Sebi, Sebi do. Do the Sebi dance. Sebi, do the Sebi, Sebi. Wow, the it's mood. Dave the Dancing Duck. <laughs> Hip-hop. Remember this dance and the moves will never stop. Gotta move your hands, you gotta move your feet. No matter where you are, you gotta move to the Zebby beat. He's moving to the left, he's moving to the right. His hands are in the air and he wants you all to do it right. Everybody's talking about the dance. Don't miss your chance. Do the Zebby dance. Zebby, do the 